But Dragon Ooh. Ball Fighters got it before. Yeah, you, you're right, though. <laughs> you're right, though. Oh, my God. Either way, we got Fawn versus Kisu. Let's go. Duck Hunt versus Robin. Now, this is a character I love to see. I'm going to let you guess which one I'm talking about. Duck Hunt? Both. <laughs> yeah, okay, fair, fair, fair. You got you right. Honestly, same. Especially the way that Fawn has been showing up with Duck Hunt lately. And I do got to point out that, you know, we brought Fawn to Small Battlefield, which, yeah. by the way, not on our starter list, which means this was a gentleman pick. Mm -hmm. This, I think, is maybe Fawn's favorite stage for Duck Hunt outside of maybe regular Battlefield. Yeah, absolutely. Like, there have been, like, one or two clips that I've seen that they showed me where they've thrown Clay Pigeon. Clay Pigeon was set on a platform, and even though it's not moving and it's just there stationary, it's still active. Duck Hunt can still activate at any time. Uh, and, of course, there are a lot of cases where they really do a lot of, uh, I want to say, like, Clay Pigeon combos for the most part. Mm -hmm. And this is a good stage for that, for sure. Oh, absolutely. But, no, I mean, especially, like, the two platforms, and like we just saw with Fun. You know, getting a zero to death off of what was basically an extended ledge trap is Fawn will just set up this this projectile like obstacle course this gauntlet. between <laughs> I, I call gauntlet. it like a Super Mario Maker level that they <laughs> set up. I actually like that. Oh my God, clay pigeon oh. traps! All right, not unfortunately not able to capitalize on um, a uh, a jump there from Kisu. Kisu is able to get a little bit of healing off of that Nosferatu, but setting them setting themselves back up at the ledge right now is able to get the arc fire up smash. Yeah, Kisu's definitely not having the best time oh right now. God. A lot of Robin's options can be beaten out by Clay Pigeon, which is what I was just about to say, and Gunman and Can. There's like three different things that Robin's projectiles like can't go through because they stop on each one. Unless, oh, nice, good conversion Ooh. off of that. Um, unless Kisu opts to charge uh, Thoron, that's the only thing that's really going to break this sort of gauntlet, if you will. Um, but other than that, it's like you're left no other choice but to box, and not to mention the you're ammo dead. on Levin Sword. Yeah, that's rough. Yeah, no, I feel like the 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 wide array of like basically shields that Fawn can set down is really going to have to force Kisu to play a little bit more aggressively, which, I mean, Robin kind of can. You know, Robin can really throw out those 11 aerials with impunity. Yep, like that. Yeah, <laughs> three, like three, three up airs. So that might be where the, the difference maker comes in in this set, is if Kisu can really turn up the aggression. But right now, Fawn potentially setting up for Ooh. another ledge trap situation and a no tech means Fawn is taking game one. Yeah, and that's something that they'll do really often, especially when you're off stage. Fawn has such amazing control of Can, And there are so many situations where they set you up for a stage spike situation, kind of similar to that last stock. And it's up to you to tech if your percent is low enough. But if not, then, well, that, that's yeah. what happens. And, like, I want to say uh, one detriment that, you know, Robin kind of has in this matchup is, like, you know, as as much as Robin would like to zone against Duck Hunt, once again, their projectiles don't really go through all of Duck Hunt's bodyguards. Yeah. And on top of that, they have ammo as well. And, like, you know, that's that's one of the things about this character that makes it kind of difficult in some of these some of these predicaments, I want to say. Because, look, even right there, you're out of up B. Like, yeah, there's, no. No, there's no wind book or anything, but, you know, it's crazy. Sometimes the taser runs out of gas. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens. Like, uh, one of my friends calls, uh, what is it? You have Levin Sword. And then yeah. if you kill with Robin's neutral air, which is super possible, you know, you get the Bronze Sword killer. But nonetheless, this is Aegis. We're talking about a different kind of anime right now. Yeah, and I think Kisu kind of had in mind what I was saying before is, you know, Kisu's going to want to be able to turn up the aggression and really get in on this duck hunt. And, you know, the huge swords of the Aegis is definitely going to be able to make it through Duck Hunt's bodyguards. Oh, yeah. Especially that side B right there. Hit, yeah. Hit fun. That move is massive. Ooh, all right. Kisu already setting up with the Pyra. Potentially going to be looking for a stock soon. The Blazing End Ooh. also is going to be super good. Go does go through the gunman, but doesn't actually, like, knock him out. Yeah, and the thing is, it's like you, you also have to wait for that move to come back to you, too. So it's worth it to throw whenever Duck Hunt's setting up. But at the same time, if uh, if Fawn opts to block or gets out of it, then you have to really worry about catching the, the sword again. Mm -hmm. You know, it kind of leaves you open for a little bit. Similar to, like, how K. Rule has to pick up Crown and everything, you know? You're just there, helpless. But nonetheless, either way, the Pyra Mithra is able to kind of make this adjustment. And despite the deficit in percentages right now... Oh, this might be death. Oh, no, misses Ooh, a can. Unfortunately. 
not able to find it, but is able to catch Kisu getting a little bit scared with that air dodge in. That's an easy up air. Especially that percent, like character, like Mithra, absolutely going to be taking it. Yeah. Oh, no, prominence. Oh. That's a big punish from Fawn. As much as I like to see prominence. Oh, that right there? I thought Cam was going to save. Oh, still alive, though. Good DI on Fawn's part. That might be too Ooh, low. Yeah. yeah. Even they recognized it. Yeah, I think Fawn maybe wasted a jump earlier, something. Because probably within the chaos of all of that, I, <laughs> it happens from time to time, you know? They upbeat super low. Yeah. So. And that doesn't typically happen either. Uh, but nonetheless, this uh, this switch right now from Kisu is actually looking to be pretty good. It's working so far. Yeah. Okay, side B. Side B again. Three. Oh, a three? Four? Maybe a four? Oh, okay. Usually I see three at the most, and by the time the third one is there, Fawn will usually do that! Ooh. Fawn will do that! Oh my oh, god! Just barely not able to make it back, even with even with Duck Hunt's like, air dash of an air dodge. Yeah, and that was an explosive down there. Down there, they're coming out of Kisu. That's the thing about like Pyra Mithra. Like, obviously, most of the time you're using Mithra as once again the battery type character. Pyra's there just a kill shot, but Pyra's aerials are so large, and like even though they're kind of slow, they're so impactful and powerful. Like, oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. It's gonna take just a little bit here, a tiny bit of setup for Fawn to clean up the stock. So Kisu's got to get as much extra credit as possible. Where school's back in session, you gotta you gotta go for the extra credit here, man. Yeah, and you can see, you know, Kisu, I actually do really like the way that Kisu, like, rolled in to try and get the stage position, because something I didn't even think about in this matchup with Fawn setting up all of the projectiles, Foresight. I completely forgot that was a mechanic. Yeah, true, true, true. Similar to Bat Within, but, you know. Oh, ah! Oh, down air, up smash, yuck! Oh, that's the power of Fighter's Pass, too, I'm yep. telling you. That's I'm the 599. You. Oh, yes. Oh yes, 5.99 up bees with some character. You got 5.99 conversions. Oh goodness. So there, I want to attest that to uh, like like, like this, not this whole match, but like one stock kind of being lost. Like in the beginning when uh, Fawn went for a can setup, they didn't get it, and normally they usually get down throw onto can, mm -hmm. and that just gave uh, Kisu like the ability to live a little longer. And not to mention uh, Fawn SD on the second stock. Yeah, right there. Yeah. I believe. Yeah, they expected to jump. I, I believe so. Wow. But either way, Kisu, this adjustment and character swap is it's working out so far. But we got to see if it was just a fluke or if it was a... Oh, I, I got no puns for this. <laughs> <laughs> I saw Ray of Punishment coming out. I was like, I, I can't think. I can't I think. I don't know. That brain, move shuts brain off on off. Rain. Yeah, oh yeah. Because what, Ray of Punishment, uh, you get either the regular one or the shotgun one if you hold B, I think? Yeah. Yeah, Chroma Dust. I mean, it just sounds cool. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, we are taking things to Battlefield, which I'm pretty sure is Fawn's favorite stage for Duck Hunt. Because, I mean, they're going to be able to set up those same, uh, like, obstacle course type setups that we saw before. Mm -hmm. But also just the top platform is amazing for uh, extending Duck Hunt's combos. We saw, like, the Clay Pigeon right now. But, uh, you know, they're potentially going to be able to even get, like, an up air off of the top platform. Yeah, absolutely. Not to mention the Shantae music is playing so oh, fun. Yeah. Fun's got the, you, you know, you got the music boost. You're playing your favorite character. And it's working out right now. Kisu's just having a bit of a hard time landing. That's it. The flight is taking off. And the top platform even uh, even helps with that same... <laughs> 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 if that was a shield break, I was going to scream. Devin, I hope you got compression on these mics. My God. <laughs> Set up here. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, oh the what the actually working against Kisu. I think you can't grab ledge during foresight. No. I, well, it's not even that. It just looked like uh, Kisu drifted past it mm -hmm. nonetheless. And, you know, I, I think it was foresight with, uh, what, directional air dodge as well? Yeah. So I didn't even know you could two and one it like that, but my goodness. Either way, fun. Looking clean right now. Three stocks, winning team percent. I know I, I talked about extra credit before. This is a whole different project. Oh, yeah. You're already starting your next class. Oh, yeah, we're ahead of the syllabus. Right? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I don't right, even so know. Does Pyra and Mithra even have good kill throws? I don't, I don't think so. Right? I'm going to say probably not. Yeah, I don't know. And whenever I see an up air, I, I never oh. expect it. Oh, double play pitcher? Oh, oh wait for the air dodge. Play pigeon's still active, though. Getting hit out of the grab. Kisu. Very unfortunate circumstances here. All right, using the can to cover themselves. Coming back, but an F-Tilt going to be taking it. 
Now, this is still possible, but for Kisu, it's going to be... It's a heck of a mountain to climb, man. Yeah, no, they're going to have to find the right situations like they did in game two. They're going to have to hold fun as these, or we had a really, really beefy F smash. Yeah. But anything's possible in this game. It's not over until it says game right now. awareness by Kisu to throw Fawn into the exploding can. Yeah, just a little bit of extra extra damage potentially setting up for more combos. Not able to find it. All right, now you have to deal with Fawn at ledge again. One of the scariest things that you're, you're going to have to do. Yeah, and Duckhand has so many kill options. Like, you, you got to be careful. You can't get touched Ooh. by this at all. Oh, ah! It's coming. That was so good. Oh, what nice a tech. Oh, I think this that might be it. Yeah. And the taunt, Oh, too. no, no. <laughs> Fawn got the little dance. I thought Fawn was going to down air. I'm like, oh, goodness, <laughs> don't do that. Oh, man. Nonetheless, that was a really good match between these two. The character swap was definitely well worth it, but the, the early um, the early foresight hey, there. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Groovin. Oh, we're out of here. I know they thought about it down yeah. there. That's, that's where the they jump came from right it. there, yeah. <laughs> Maybe going for like a footstool or something. Or something, yeah. I don't know. Surprised we didn't even see a phantom footstool. It's really easy to phantom footstool in oh, this yeah. game. Like, it happens way too often. But nonetheless, man, good stuff on Fawn.